snakes in the, I don't let just anybody sit in my eyes. <laughs> I, I've been there for 25 years come January. I can choose who I want to sit in my aisle. So I want you to give a great hand for some of your, she may be your legislator, but she's your neighbor, but she's my seatmate. Representative Linda Chapman. <laughs> Always will be. In fact, tonight we I came in with some issues and I said, what can we do about these other things? I want to let you know a little bit about my seatmate. When I first came to the General Assembly six years ago, um, I, I looked down the aisle and she's very austere looking, you know. She knows what's going on. And I kind of pecked her as I better get close to her. It was either her or Lou Jones, and Lou Jones was always mad at me because I voted way too conservatively. Always yelling at me. And um, the first year I said, she's, she's definitely a mentor, I need to get close to her. And then I got on your committee, healthcare committee. And within the first year, I was with her in Chicago. I was the only other legislator with her in Chicago, which she took on advocate at hospitals for all the BS that was going on in Chicago in the underserved communities that they were not taking care of. Uh, the certain equipment wasn't there, people weren't washing their hands, there was issues and people were dying in her community and outside her community that she was concerned. That was the first episode. I left, she was yelling at the doctors when I left the office. I mean, we had overstayed our welcome, but she was gonna make sure that they knew that she was a fighter for the people and not their company and not the insurance companies. So she gave me a, a dose of reality. When I left there, I'm like, wow. You know, I wanna do that. I wanna be that powerful. I wanna be in her footsteps. And then I started getting to know her more, and uh, the people in her committee don't like to be in her committee sometimes because she'll hold six-hour committees. Am I right or wrong, Mary? Uh, and nobody, oh no, we're not going to Mary Flowers' committee. Because she tells the truth. A lot of people would like to go in. She does. A lot of people, a lot of our colleagues would love to go into a committee within an hour, half an hour and get out. And you really have to understand the commitment of elected official is that we're here at a little bit before nine, and so are you, and that's we appreciate that. Because even if there was one person in the room right now, we would have accomplished our job because we're servants. And since I've known her, and all the things I've gotten involved with her, her main focus in the last six years that I've been in the House has been on health delivery. The urgent care, it used to be urgent care, the Reverend left, is no longer urgent care because people have died thinking that they can go in and get urgent care. Mary Flowers is the lead and the founder the genesis of the legislation that made it walk-in care. This was this lady. This is why throughout the state of Illinois you see walk-in care. No longer urgent care because in certain communities we're, we might not be educated enough to know that it says urgent care that they might not give us a surgery or we're having a heart attack or something, they can't care for us. So it shouldn't be urgent care, it should be walk-in care because the quality makes you think, okay, if I have a stitch I need, maybe I can get that done. But if I'm having a heart attack, I better take myself to a hospital, okay? That was Mary Flowers. Uh, nursing to patient ratio, Ooh, do you remember that one? That was Mary Flowers that started all those issues in the house. Nobody else was taking up those hard issues against hospitals that have large lobbyists that like to pay good money to uh, elected officials' accounts for their campaign. Mary is above, so above all those issues in the House and in the Senate and in the state legislature, period. Um, the things that she's taught me in the last couple of years has made me a really, really better legislator. And I appreciate all those things. But she's right, we can stand up here and talk, and yes, this tape will be submitted into documentation for the committee for House Bill 311, but it takes you to be the holding the legislators. And I wasn't just being helping out, Rachel, when I said, who's the other person that's here running against? Those people are legislating for you guys in Springfield. There's only so many of us that will stand up and say, you know what, this is wrong. We serve you, just like the Reverend said, you know, earlier, the Constitution of the United States, the Declaration of Independence, all that stuff. That's what it was supposed to be about. It wasn't supposed to be about who can give you the most money for your reelection. 
somewhere down the line, we started forgetting about that, and that's why the system started crumbling. So it's about you and the choices that you make at the polls. Because we can do the heavy lifting, but we can't get it to cross the goal line if you're not there to support us at the end. Because somebody with a lot of money, insurance companies, two of them only non-regulated, what, the insurance companies and the attorneys, something like that, in the state, have the money to put into another candidate and make them everything in a bag of chips, even though you're the righteous person that's serving the people. So it's, it's about you and who you elect. And that's why I said, you guys have to really reach out to the legislators that aren't on this bill. And if you know right away, I don't think we have one Republican on this bill. Why? Why is that? So I, I want to thank you for the bottom of for coming out and, and just to be behind us in this plight because what other state has a single payer program? None, right? And Mary even has brought up specialists from different states consultants from Massachusetts, was it Massachusetts and that started a program or tried to get into a program in another state. In her own office, I sat there and I'm like, I'm a part of this, this is amazing. And it was just myself, her, and those consultants. There were no other legislators there with us. And she invited everybody. And she always invites everybody too. So it's no secret that what Mary Flowers is about on this planet. But if you're not out there electing the right people or talking to other people in the grocery line or at the schools about you know what we need done in this state, it's going to stay the same. 